Hey everyone, welcome to a tutorial about the new world edit Snowbrush and also the new stack mode for the snow command. Now this is just a quick tutorial about how to basically make a nice snowy mountain using these new features, so let's jump right into it. First up, we're going to be covering just the old snow command, which now has a new stacker mode. So we just go in and type in slash snow and then dash s. That enables stack mode. So if I run the command again, you'll see that the snow has been stacked up. If I just undo both of those, uh, let's do some snow in a larger area, maybe say 20 blocks. It covers most of the mountain. So yeah, if I run it without the stack, you'll see that it's not actually stacking up the snow, it's just placing it basically. So if we just cover this mountain, and I know covering a mountain doesn't really make sense, but just for an example here, if we now stand up in the middle, there's snow, say with a uh, stack mode of say a range of 10, you'll see that it just covers this top uh, 10 range with the extra snow. Now this is like useful if you want to make a nice looking mountain as well, because you can like use a G mask as well. Say for example, I only want 30% of the snow to actually be stacked up. Now if I do this, it'll only apply it to 30% of the snow. Now for anyone who doesn't know what that is, this is a G mask with a noise mask of 30%. I can make it 70% to do the exact opposite and just do undo the old snow that I did. Uh, stack, yes, yeah, no, uh, sorry, 20. And you'll see that it is stacked up 70% of the snow. So now the one that is less common is the lower snow. So that's the main change to the snow command. Now we'll move on to the brush. The snow brush is similar to the snow command, however, allows precisely setting snow. You can start with snow brush by writing slash brush snow, a shape such as cylinder. I personally prefer the cylinder because it feels like it gets more accurate snow placement and then a radius such as five. As you can see, it lets you set snow just by right clicking. You can also use this in stack mode with dash s. As you can see, that stacked some of the snow there. Now preparing this with the mask, as seen in the last step, you can create some rather interesting patterns. For example, I can set a 30% noise mask. Here it lets you uh, set 30% of snow, but also stacking. Using this, you can create very intricate details. For this specific case, it isn't really an intricate detail, but over a large area of a land, you could easily create some rather interesting varied stacked snow patterns. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've all found this useful. Let me know if there's any other like world edit features that you'd like me to make tutorials for, because I'm always happy to make like tutorials for basically anything in it. Uh, and also, if possible, um, if you could please like the video and subscribe and all that kind of stuff, because it definitely would help, because I'm currently under the subscriber threshold for monetizing videos, so it'd be good to kind of get above that threshold. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.